What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will create a level up animation. It is going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright so the first thing that we need to do is create a new widget. Now in this case what we can do instead of creating a new widget we can reuse our HUD right because in there we have all our you know health bar, uh, level and so on. So what we can do is create a new text at the top of this widget which will be setting as level up and then kind of uh, put the uh, level right at the bottom and then just kind of animate both of these so let's go ahead and do that so I just drag a new text right and let's anchor this at the top of the screen let's set the position x and y to be 0 0 and the alignment of 0.5 and 0.5 so as you can see will be at the center now I can increase the size x and y right so we'll be bigger set, set the justification at the center and then you know kind of increase the size and let's put something as level up so we know you know what we are doing i think this is uh, pretty good maybe too big even uh, i think that 50 will do a bit better there we go and then we can just increase the um position y to kind of put it more in place and then change the size y and also x there we go so we'll be a bit better Okay, there we go. We now have this over here, level up, and we know we can reuse kind of this logic of the text and the shield, right? First of all, let's rename this to be kind of, of the level up animation. Of course, not no caps, level up animation text, and let's click is variable. This is important, so we can animate it. Actually, we don't need this um, because the animation will kind of, uh, we don't need to have it as a variable to animate it. So we can disable this variable. Um, and then what I would do is basically duplicate this and this will be the level up um, animation mm, number text. So we know this is the actual number of the level. We can now set the position X to be zero and position Y kind of up here. And we can put a you know mm, number over here. And then what we can do is kind of change a bit the color or the size of this. Let's make it a bit smaller, maybe like uh, 45 or even 40, right? And then we can copy the shield. The shield should be around here, uh, where it says it's gonna be level icon, there we go. So let's duplicate this, let's drop it to be together. And this will kind of be the level up animation icon. And now we can just set the anchor to be added you know, top again this is very important. Alignment 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Put the position X to be like this, a zero, and this on Y down. Now this has to be on top of the number, so it will be behind it on the screen. And then we need to, you know, kind of make it bigger. So maybe like uh, 150 and 150, right? There we go, nice and clear. And then I'm gonna get, uh, you know, this and drop it down because it's very. Uh, very big so let's go ahead and just put it on here right kind of 200 and then also on position y let's drop this kind of here and let's um make the size a bit smaller on the box right there we go this is pretty cool let's kind of increase this there we go oh that looks excellent as you can see this will end up looking very cool so now what we need to do is create a new animation for all of these so what I come to do is go and select the first level up text, which is what we want to animate. Now it would be cool to kind of, um, you know, reuse uh, some of the animation for each component, but it's okay. We can animate each individual one. So let's create a new animation and let's call this something as just level up, right? We're gonna put any spaces, so let's just put level up all together. Select the animation and now we go to the animation mode. And now with our level up text selected, which is the first one, let's add it to our track. Let's select now the icon and add it to the track and also for the number. Okay, so let's begin with the level up text. In this case, what I am going to do is begin with the alpha, okay, at zero. So it will not be visible. So let's mark a key point or keyframe. And then we are going to kind of copy this position Okay, let's copy in our clipboard and let's drop it. So kind of it will start here. And let's mark this position Y to here 
Okay, so we'll start like this and then go forward and it will end up where it is. So let's paste it, add a keyframe and then put it at one of opacity and put it here. And now as you can see, it will kind of go up. Now it is very fast. So let's select the final keyframes and let's put it like, I don't know, in here. As you can see now, oh, that looks cool. As you can see, yeah, it goes from the start, goes up, level up. And now we can maybe put the color and opacity to kind of see it before. There we go. And that looks very cool. That looks very cool. We can zoom in with the uh, control, maybe even after, right? Yeah, it looks cool. So we can play around, you know, appearing first of all uh, to the position and then the alpha and so on. Anyway, compile, save. Let's go to the next thing that we need to animate, which is going to be, you know, the icon, for example. Let's go in, in order. Um, so, uh, for this, let's do exactly the same thing, right? The um, alpha, which is here, will begin at zero, okay? And let's copy the position Y on our clipboard and let's lower it, okay? And uh, let's just add another um, keyframe for this. Let's go forwards until pretty much. Uh, the same as we did with the other, um, you know, text. And let's now set the uh, alpha at one at a keyframe and then paste the position Y on here and at a keyframe. And now, as you can see, it will do the same thing, right? It will go up with this really cool animation, which is, you know, looking excellent, right? Cool. And so now what we need to do is select the text. Let's also compile and save. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. So set the alpha to be at zero at a keyframe. Then we are going to copy the position on the clipboard, drop it down kind of here at a keyframe and then go where it finishes kind of here. And we're going to set the uh, alpha to one at a keyframe and then paste the position Y and add a keyframe. And now as you can see, it will kind of boom. Oh, that's cool. It will make this really cool animation. If I don't select anything, we can see a bit better and it will look like this, which looks absolutely amazing. It's like, you know, the text and the shield appears and then the level uh, amount kind of goes into the shield. I love it. OK, I love it. Now, of course, we need to do the now the opposite, which is to um, make it disappear. So with that said, now I can wait a few seconds right on here and select the uh, this two um, keyframes, right? Let's zoom in the control. We can now copy them and paste them on. Uh, sorry, what did I do? Paste them here. And now the animation will happen and they will stay like this for a few seconds. Let's actually move them to one, right? Uh, actually, 125. So it will stay at the screen until this time. Let's copy also the ones here. Copy, go here, paste, and then copy, go here paste and now as you can see what we have done is that they will stay uh, for this time kind of there you still and then we can wait a few seconds and kind of uh, you know put them to be uh, back you know to normal so we can um, here set the alpha of the animation level up to be zero at a keyframe and then the position y to be kind of uh, up in this case so we'll go the other direction Right, as you can see, it will do this. Now, uh, I did one mistake, okay? Let me do uh, control Z two times, because I did apply the the, the things on here. Uh, wait, okay. Yeah, so I need to go to the end, and on here I said the, pass the position Y up, and add a keyframe. Okay, now, now, no. Okay, so it shouldn't move uh, if it's on here, right? But it's okay, we can use, yeah, we can make it disappear like this, okay? So we just disable the alpha. Let's do it with the icon, right at the end, set the alpha to zero, and then the animation text also to zero. And now they will go up, appear, and then disable. All right, they will disappear. Ha, <laughs> that looks so cool. So now with that said, we just need to go to graph, right click, custom event, and this will be kind of a play level up animation, right? And with that said, we can just get our animation, which is under animations, level up, and this will just say play animation. 
So now we're gonna go when we level up and you know play all the effects that we need. So let's go to content. I think it's in blueprints, uh, player stats. I'm gonna go into XP. Uh, sorry, in the functions, level and XP, increase levels. You can see here we play all the sounds and so on. We now need to access the owners. Um, you know, get owner uh, component right, and then just kind of cast. So just right click cast to um, third person character blueprint. Actually, we already have a reference, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. We already have a reference. Player character BP easier. Now we just need to get the HUD widget, which is here, and you say, hey, play the uh, level up animation. And with that said. We now can test this out. So if I press play, go and open up the chest. Boom! Wow, that looks <laughs> that looks really cool actually. Let's test this again. Yeah, that looks excellent. Uh, we can maybe make it stay more time, right? So if it selects level up, we can select this last points and kind of move them a bit more until two maybe. And now we can see that. Uh, they will kind of stay for longer. Uh, that, that looks super cool. And then um, what I need to do is fill in that text, right? The level up animation number. So let's mark it as is variable and we need to set it with a number. So what we can do is just now get from this widget the, uh, the level up animation text number and set the text with this node to be the current level. So drag it here and there we go. So now, you know, it will fill in that number with whatever level we now have. So now we can go here, boom, level two, there we go. And now that works. So that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Uh, check my new course with Game Dev TV on how to make a Unreal stealth game. Uh, join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.